where the grapes grow. Pulling up to our first winery, y'all. Behringer Tours and Tastings. Ooh, this is so fancy. This is so cute. Thank you, Siri, for getting us here safely. This ways. Thank you, ways. <laughs> Welcome back and welcome to Most Life in a Bag and welcome back to a brand new video. If you are new here, go ahead and press the subscribe button, click the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I post a brand new video here on my channel. And if you are already a part of the crew, thank you so much for returning. If y'all watched my last videos, then y'all will know that I am on vacation. I told y'all that I was going on vacation. I told y'all that I was gonna be on the West Coast somewhere. And I told you guys to go down in the comment section below and guess where I would be vacationing to. Adrian is with me. And as you guys can see in the title, we are in California and we are in Napa right now in the middle, smack dab in the middle of wine country y'all so we just pulled up to the first winery that we're going to which is Behringer and you guys might be familiar with Behringer some of y'all might drink it this is one we wanted to come to to do just like a tasting we're gonna go to another winery when we leave here to actually do a tour so y'all know that of course I had to bring y'all along with me Adrian back there y'all <laughs> in his floral okay y'all I'm about to flip the camera because honestly the scenery is just everything y'all it's so beautiful out here oh my gosh so this is the main entrance I'm like, I don't know. yeah I'm like, sure, by the way isn't it cute <laughs> Okay. Oh, so you two are here, and this is where you pick up your wine. Okay. Red QR codes are the red dots. That's all I'm asking. So we could like take some with us. Absolutely. Okay. okay. <laughs> There's two places. Okay. Here and upstairs. So okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you yeah. so much. Thank you. Monique, give me five signs. Okay. Okay, y'all. Okay. We about to take some pictures real quick. So a lot, so a lot of Cabernet Sauvignon. Oh. Uh, so a lot of these, like winery and club exclusive, these are for just. You ah. can only buy these here or join the wine club. So you're having Chardonnay? Yes, please. And this is Block. Yeah. So me and Adrian just got our first tasting here at Behringer. I got a Napa Valley Sauvignon Blanc and Adrian got Chardonnay. The lady was basically telling us that there's a lot of wines that Behringer makes that they don't ship out. So they just keep it here and that is what we have. And also y'all, she poured the wine to where our thumbprint is. So there's like a, a thumbprint in the glass. I don't know if y'all can see it, but anyways, cheers. cheers. Oh, this is sweet. I'm not a big sweet wine drinker, y'all, but it's good though. But it's sweet. That's why I was surprised with the silver on blue. Well, I wanted something light. Here, taste mine. So this is Adrian Chardonnay. That's good. Yeah. That's really good. So. These are like the barrels that they like age the wine in, mm -hmm. and smash all the grapes up and drain it. So I guess these are like some of the first ones they built. Yeah. She said this was built like the late 1880s. Oh, okay. The caves said, are the back barrel. there. The okay. Okay, y'all. We're going to the caves. We're going to the caves. <laughs> <laughs> these barrels like 
these are the caves that go by hand in the late 1800s based on what she told us. Yeah. This is so cool. I think they may be doing like a tour or something. Y'all, we not doing a tour here. We're doing a tour at another winery. We just came here for the tasting. Oh, that's cool. Y'all, she said it took them eight years to build these. Ooh. is the actual front of the winery so like this was the street that we came in on and we turned in over there at the main entrance here and they have this cute little waterfall this is real fancy y'all this is real cute how's the wine let's do it i'm almost done with mine we are really enjoying the Behringer Winery, it's so nice. It's so beautiful. Oh yeah, this is one of the oldest wineries in Napa. That's why we wanted to come check it out. And like Behringer in Tennessee is known to have like cheaper wines. So, but here you can only taste wines and buy wines that's exclusively here. So that's why I want to come to see how they actual good wines taste like. And Memphis, Which such we got some good wine. Like, good. We, the wines that we tasted, you can't buy them in Tennessee. Yeah, you can't. You got. You can. You gotta. You can buy them, but you gotta get them shipped there. You can't. They can't. They don't sell them there. Like by the bottle. Right. Right. Me either. I never seen a Sauvignon Blanc. Yeah. Bearish. The Napa Valley Sauvignon Blanc. Yeah. Behringer. Yeah, I haven't either. But I'm glad we. I mean, it's a good. One. It's a good pick. So, the oldest one. One of the oldest wineries here. They they got caves. Yeah. No, it's really cool, y'all. Okay, you guys, so we are done here at Behringer. We're to go to Cake Bread Cellars. where We're gonna do an actual tour of the vineyard and the winery. Why don't you give them one last little view of the property? Yeah, this is one of the oldest properties in Napa. They don't actually, this is just a winery where you taste wine. They don't actually make the wine here. They actually make the wine across the street and accidentally turn into like that vineyard. Yeah, we did, y'all. It was crazy. Like we turned into like the vineyard where they actually make the Behringer wine. Behringer Winery. We have arrived at our first winery. Can we go in this way? That smell was wonderful. Yeah, that was well, I, yeah. but Adrian was telling me the vineyard is where they grow the grapes and make the wine and then the winery is where you actually taste the wine so but the vineyard is where they grow the grapes the winery is where they make the wine they don't oh yeah the vineyard okay yeah they grow the grapes like step on the grapes and all of that yeah not a, this is not a vineyard yeah they may make some wine here but they don't they don't grow grapes here that's why the vines are empty right yeah but all right, okay, all right. Go. just look how beautiful Monique looks today. Okay, melanin, uh, melanin, however you say that word. All right, we're we gonna see how the cake bread. Yeah. So we are in the car on our way to cake bread cellars, and I'm feeling good. Like, how are you feeling after that um, first glass of wine we had? It's cool, you know. It's like supposed to be a tasting, but it's like. It's cool, it's not like, you know, it don't portray you to like get get faded. Like it just wants you to come see the property. If you want to drink more, you can. You can buy bottles. They got it by the glass. Yeah. You know, it wasn't like. This. And I'm hydrating. Okay, I'm drinking hydrate alkaline water. So. Yeah, you need to. Once you get to sipping, you be. You know, you know how you do. You get to sipping. Okay, I'm about to flip the camera around so y'all can see some scenery. We are 
here. We pulling up. I think my favorite part is like pulling up on the property. Like the properties be so nice. Like, wow. It just makes you feel so bougie and fancy. Like I can't even come here, like have a appointment to come to this joint. Yeah. Adrian really pulled some strings to get us some tickets to come here, y'all. So I'm just like so excited right now. Honey, this is your favorite. This is what you want. This is literally my favorite wine. Right now. I love cake bread. If you've never had cake bread, just go to your local liquor store, a liquor store near you, any liquor store near you, go ask them do they have cake bread. And I promise you, like, I'm putting y'all on right now. We putting y'all on right now, okay? Ask them for cake bread and just ask them if you can try it or just buy a bottle. So good. It's gonna be a little pricey now. Yeah, it is gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> the Sauvignon Blanc, the Sauvignon Blanc, the... it's still like thirty dollars a bottle. It's high. Oh yeah. Okay. I'm gonna show you this. right here. Incognito. Yeah, Adrian just the lady complimented him in his attire. She didn't say nothing. She didn't say anything about me. Like, oh, you you look so pretty. Or you're she just said she liked my shirt. That's it. That's all she said. She wanna like. Oh, me. we're being modest. She just said she liked my shirt. Is that what we're doing? Oh, she said she liked my shirt. She didn't say nothing else. Mm-hmm. Okay. She didn't give me no we are about to go in. Now here we're doing an actual tour. So I can't guarantee you guys that I can get a whole lot of footage because I actually want to be plugged in and like listening because this is my favorite wine. So Right, I got me get some. Yeah, right. Oh, you poured us some wine. Yes. Let me. I'll show you what it is. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, I do. Oh my god. This vintage. It's and I know you have a 2018 in your fridge. Yes. See, we've been talking a lot because you've been out there. Yes. I've been cooking in prison. Yeah. This is my thing. I I love cake bread. It's. Oh, you two are so cute. Exactly. It's so it's easy drinking. This is my favorite probably. And then the Napa shard you're gonna have during your tasting. Yes. And you're speaking. This is limited, so you get this. Yeah. Yes. Number six. So we just walk out and we just oh. like you're just talking. Yeah, we can see, we can see. We like two hours. It's the end. We like two hours, 15 minutes. We came up, came up around 6 a.m. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
they make all these leaves, right? And, and shoots and stuff and leaves. And so it's so wide, it makes like a canopy. They call it a canopy, in fact, mm -hmm. which protects the grapes from the sun. So they don't get sunburned grapes. This is a trunk. This is called a cordon. So is this, this branch here is called a cordon. This is a bilateral vine. Oh, no. They're still learning how to use the machine. It's not older than me. Steel corn grapes. Steel corn grapes. That's what I'm saying, like, look at the glass. Rootstock, these American rootstock, and it grafts the, root, the vine under the rootstock, and we, we put it in here, we, we plant it, and then, um, and then it grow. This is the cardboard box is there to protect it. So that's, these are all new little vines. So how long is it going to take that? Like that? 35 years. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> so these are new vines that have been planted, y'all. Yes, it does. Um, this is so cool. I mean, if you love wine like I do, this is cool. Like, this is really cool. These are the Cabernet Sauvignon vines where they grow the grapes for cabs. Domestic wine sold in the United States is under five dollars a bottle. Right. They have a market. <laughs> right, 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 right. They're not worried about complex. Cheers. I always get cake bread for their Cabernet and Merlot. Uh, anytime I, anytime I was a place that cake bread, I always make that. I would like the wine. I only apply. <laughs> oh, it's cool in here. Now, I don't want you to swirl this wine. I want you to pick it up very gently, smell it, take a little sip. So you're probably all thinking right now, Dean, what have you done to me? <laughs> Taste that dryness in your mouth, on both sides of your mouth? Mm -hmm. That's the tannins in this wine. This is Merlot. This is actually 99.3% Merlot, 1.7% Cabernet Sauvignon. Look, there you go. Right there. Keep going. Look, there you go. There you go. Good, 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 good. Okay. I want you to smell it and taste it. Taste different? Taste better? Yeah, let your wine open up. Big difference, huh? Wow. <laughs> I love doing that. Thing. It's my favorite thing to do. It. So I tell people, you have to let your wine breathe. When we have the Springs Cabernet Sauvignon, it's one of our reserves. This is 15% Merlot, 85% Cabernet Sauvignon. It's from the southeastern side of the valley. Uh, it's cooler down there, but it gets it's a hillside fruit, so it gets a lot of sunshine. So let's eat that way. Uh, little splash. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, don't blend this one, please. <laughs> smell this smoke. You smell this smoke. <laughs> that, this is a lot of smell. Is it 2018? Um, yeah, it's only $140 a bottle, so. Only? <laughs> <laughs> just, just take better for us all of a sudden. We are coming to the very well, end right. of our tour. The tour guide is actually taking us to the gift shop where we can purchase bottles of wine that we picked from here. So that's what we got to do right now. Give me the Yeah, bamboo. Yeah. Okay. Please don't wait for us. Appreciate it. Do that. I got the receipt. Got the receipt. Y'all, the tour guide was telling us how there's lizards everywhere because they eat the insects and 
whatever. The lizards are important to the winery. I'm trying to go to the bathroom, right? The bathroom is in there, and the lizard is right there, and I really just don't want to, like, he's not moving. I don't want to walk that close. What I'm going to do? Uh, oh, my God, he's moving. He's moving. He's moving. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you. See, now I can go. Now I can go. Now I can go to the bathroom. Well, that worked out. <laughs> Y'all, honestly, I'm a little buzzed. I'm a little buzzed. Uh, place is called Buffalo's. And Adrian is going in there to see about shipping this wine because we have plenty of bottles that we purchased to ship when we leave here y'all we actually have dinner reservations at a restaurant called bricks here in napa our reservations for dinner are at seven i don't know if they're at seven or seven thirty i made the reservations but i can't remember what time right now it's five o'clock so we have a couple hours we were thinking about maybe getting to the restaurant early seeing if we can maybe like sit at the bar have some appetizers or something because we really didn't eat that much today so I am drinking ginger ale right now because we had so much wine earlier today. We are at Bricks, Napa Valley. We're sitting outside, you guys. It's very, very nice and it's actually enclosed here, but we have a beautiful view of the mountains. It's really nice, so we are about to grub. We are back in our hotel room. We actually literally just got back, just walked in the door, and right now it is currently 10.22 p.m. So we have had a very long day because our tour at Cake Bread Cellars was at like 1.15ish. And y'all know we went to Behringer before we went to Cake Bread Cellars. We are back and we had a very good time at the winery today, y'all. Both wineries that we went to today were very, very nice. If you love wine, like if you are a real, this is for all, this message is going out to all my real wine drinkers. If you like to drink like the sweet stuff, <laughs> if you like the nice, dry reds, dry whites, crisp whites. Napa is where you wanna go if you wanna go to a winery. That is what I would recommend. Now, if you guys have been subscribed to my channel or even if you're not subscribed to my channel, which you need to go ahead and do that, you may have checked out my video from the winery that I went to in Georgia called Chateau Alain. If you are more of like a sweet wine drinker, I would more so recommend that winery. They had more of a selection of your sweet rosés, like Cake Bread Cellars didn't even have rosé. So that'll kind of give you an idea. They didn't even have, they don't have any rosé at their winery. But if you, you love wine just as much as I do, you will really truly appreciate uh, going on a wine tour, learning the history of wine, how it's made, how it's produced, how it's packaged, where it's, how it's grown, the climate that the grapes are supposed to be in. I mean, what time of the day they're supposed to be picked, just 
so much information that I learned today, y'all. I'm gonna say probably one of the best experiences that I have had in my entire life. So, but I really love good wine. I appreciate good tasting wine. And so that's why I feel so passionately about it. I will definitely be back because next time I wanna actually stay in Napa, we are staying in, in San Jose. Next time I come, I wanna stay in Napa and just be right in the middle of the wine country so I can just do my thing. So yes, you guys, I hope that y'all enjoyed today's video and today's vlog. Don't forget to go down in the comment section below and let me know what you thought about today's video. Guys, go down below and let me know if you have ever tried cake bread, sellers, wine, any type of bread brand. Go down in the comment section below and let me know because I really am gonna need y'all to back me up in the comments on this because I'm really, for those of you who don't know about cake bread, I'm putting y'all on right now. So if some of my subscribers have had it before, go down in the comment section below and let me know. Don't forget to like this video, share this video, and y'all don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can become a part of the crew. I have so much more content on the way for y'all this year. I'm so excited for you guys to remain on this journey with me on my YouTube channel. I love you guys so much. Thank you again for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.